Okay, so I just saw a video that was talking about um, <laughs> magma. What are you cooing for? You're the one that wanted to sit up there. You could be sleeping right now. Um, I saw a video that was talking about um, there was a, a video that went viral, and it was from some someone, some YouTuber's live stream where they were playing Red Dead Redemption, and there was this feminist standing there like, oh, women's rights, women's vote, blah, 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 you know, and in Red Dead Redemption 2, that's one, um, it's an open world, you can pretty much do whatever the hell you want, you can beat people up, you can lasso them, you can throw them on your horse, you can put them, drop them off a cliff, you can do whatever, it's an open world, it's fun, and, um, this guy, <laughs> like, during this, when he was playing, I guess, like the feminist was just blah 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 blathering on and then he punched her in the face his character and then lassoed her and like she fell on the ground he lassoed her and like drug her through town and <laughs> like put her on the back of a um a horse took her into the swamp and like fed her to a crocodile or an alligator or something and then put her on the train tracks or something like that and it was really funny like the whole thing was funny it's, it was funny and <laughs> it's a video game and so anyway, the out of their mind, utterly insane, completely just mentally retarded feminists and SJWs got all pissed off. And apparently one of them at YouTube saw it, saw the video and decided to delete this guy's account, like his whole account. I don't know. I don't, I'm not familiar with the account. I think that in the video I watched from the Thinkery uh, said that the guy had like almost a half a million subscribers or something like that. And anyway, YouTube deleted his entire account. Because they said the video promoted violence. And I'm like, here we go. This is the problem. This is why I keep saying that the internet is not doing us any favors. It's like, it's like, it's kind of like whenever you get new service with a company, you get like this promotional, like, um, you know, promotional deal that lasts for like a year and then all of a sudden everything changes, prices start going up. Same with like Amazon Prime. You know, it was like Prime was, I don't know how much it was, but now it's like even more and, you know, and then you see the prices of their items starting to change, everything's increasing and it's like this illusion that you're, you're getting a deal and, you know, people say, oh, it's inflation, but no, that's not, that is not how it works. I mean, it's always like that. It's like introductory rates and the internet had its like introductory freedom and it's like it, it was there it was meant to get us addicted sort of like YouTube Red I mean I constantly get ads try 30 days for free of no ads or whatever you just pay or free and then you know you get used to not having any ads and they give you a whole month because they know it's gonna take a while for people to like you know I mean they do research on this they know exactly how it's gonna work and they know that after a month people are gonna be like oh fuck the commercials are going to seem even more torturous. And it's the same with the internet. We've been using it for so long and we think that we can't live without it. We think that we can't handle life without it. We can't function without it. But, you know, we're heading towards a direction where life is going to be worse than it was before we had the internet. In fact, it was better before we had the internet. The only thing it's doing now is just, it's a, it's a catalyst for people to spread the most ridiculous and absurd and destructive ideas it's a way for idiots to, to control the outcome of everybody's lives, it, to control their days, their nights, what they look at, what they like, what they play, their, their everything. You know, it's to control what they think. It's just, it's a platform to control every aspect of, of real human life. And we're losing our humanity. And it, it's just not doing us any good. You know, video games before, if, if there were no internet, we would have that game. We would have... Red Dead Redemption 2, people could beat feminists up, they could feed them to crocodiles, bears, wolves, they could throw them off of cliffs, they could roast them in campfires, they could do whatever the hell they felt like doing. Or they could just go over there and stand there and sign their little paper if that's an option and, you know, help them with their quest. Or they could ignore them completely, or they could go and listen to them faithfully every day, or they could just beat them up every day. It doesn't matter. Nobody would know about it, except the people who were playing it, and whoever was sitting in there watching them play it. But now it's on the internet, and like, people want to do, you know, they, they put stuff out there, it's funny, and then somebody doesn't like it, they get a big stink out of it, and because it's a bandwagon, there's always somebody standing there like, oh, 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 look, stop, wait, 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 please, stop, I want to jump on.
and they're just waiting to jump on a new bandwagon, anything that may gain some kind of attention because if the more things that they're part of, the more popular they become. And the more everybody knows who they are, and then pretty soon they might find themselves, you know, being able to start up some company because they have a GoFundMe, they have a PayPal, they have a Patreon, and everybody, you know, <laughs> boo fucking who. I'm so hurt. Oh, and if you wanted to help make this not so painful, you can donate to me. Thanks. Thank you guys so much. You know, and this is what the world we live in now, and this is because of the fucking internet. I'm not kidding. Everything that's wrong with everything right now is because of the internet. We should not be this connected. We should not. And I don't care if you when you're on the internet, it's like, you know what? That may be true, but I'm not the kind of, I don't sit there and make connections and try to link up and collaborate with people all over the place. In fact, I hardly talk to anybody. Most people can't get a hold of them. I like that. Not that I don't like the people, but I don't want, I, I just, I don't, I don't like to be bothered. I like to be, you know, it is, it isn't, it isn't even about not wanting to be bothered because it's not like anyone specific is bothering me. I just like being by myself. I don't like being tied to a bunch of things. And in fact, the more I communicate, the more I'm likely to disappear. I have to keep like distance because I don't know. So, you know, it's easy for me. And I think it's easy for everybody if they would just realize what their ego was compared to their actual mind. They don't know the difference. They, they, their ego is like feeding off of this, all this attention that they're, they're getting. And, you know, it's just, there's just too much connectedness and this shouldn't, it shouldn't, it, this is unnatural and it's ruining everything. And before we know it, we're not going to have any actual freedoms in real, actual life. Games are going to be different. Everything's going to be different. What you think, what you eat, what you, how you dress. Everything is going to be different and controlled in real life because the internet is its causing an environment that's creating actual laws that affect actual life. But you can just yank the plug out, one EMP, and there's no more fucking internet. Of course, there would be anything else anymore. It'd be chaos and everybody would just go fucking mad and kill everyone. But still, if, if, you, if they decided, you know what, at the end of all this, we're going to take the internet away because people, you know, they can't control themselves. Once we're, we have this, like, tyrannical system in place where we can't do anything, then they take it away or they regulate it. And now the whole world looks different and we still don't have the fucking internet. And if we do, we can't use it because we can't do anything because if we do, we'll get arrested. This is where, this is the only direction it could go. I mean, this is the fucking thing. Ugh. I don't know. <laughs> I just, I, I, I don't know. I wish people could, would see it more. Maybe if there's something that, I don't know what we could do about it other than edit and alter and restrict our own behavior and realize that even these dumb, stupid, feminist SJW bitches that are out there trying to ruin everything for everyone, maybe they could check their behavior because they would realize that one day they're going to bitch themselves into a corner and then it's going to turn right back at them when there's no one else left. And then they're going to be like, oh, but I, I, I fought for, I fought for our rights, and now you can't take them from me. <laughs> you know, it's completely fucked up. People are so blind, and it's because of the internet and the attention that they're getting. It's an ego, fucking feeding machine, and everybody's just, just prostrated. Like, yes, more, give me more. I want more, more attention. I need it. You know, it's a fucking ego. It's disgusting. Anyway, that's all. Bye. You won't leave Skyrim alive! I'm getting out of here. <laughs>